Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today's video is going to be my 50 most played songs. Um, now 50 is a big number so obviously I'm going to have to go quick. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is I was on Keek the other night and I don't go on there that often um, but I was just having a little look and um, I have a couple of friends on there that I follow and they follow me um, and they were doing it on there but obviously because the video is so short, it was like 50 different videos um, my friend was like, you should do it, it's really fun but I was kind of thinking 50 videos is a bit crazy so I thought I'd try it on here because most of my friends on there watch me on here and vice versa so um, I'm gonna crack right on obviously I can't play the music because the video will be flagged um, but I will try and put videos for all of them um, links below. Don't know if I'll be able to find videos for all of them because some of them are like album tracks. Um, but I will look. But yeah, I just, I really like the idea of this purely because you, I think you can learn a lot about somebody through their taste of music. Um, I think mine will just show you that I'm an eclectic mess, but yeah. So I'm just going through my most played tracks on my phone. So, um, Number 50 is by Catatonia, Mulder and Scully. You will notice a lot of this stuff is old because I have old taste in music. Well, not like old as in like 50s, 40s, which, you know, one of my favorite karaoke tracks is from the 50s, but you know, a lot of the music on here is most definitely 90s, early noughties. Um, 49, Adele, Someone Like You, Everybody loves that song. 48, Professor Green, Just Be Good to Green. Awesome. He is so hot. Um, come on, phone. 47, Blast from the Past. This must be nine. No, this has to be 90s. Is Hanson, Hanson Mbop. When Zach was really little, then he turned into a grown up. Um, number 46, Natalie and Brulé, Torn. Love that song, great karaoke track. 45, um, Under the Bridge, but by All Saints. I know that's kind of controversial because everyone has their favorite version of that song, I think. And 40, yeah, oh sorry, 45 was All Saints. Um, 44 is Girls Aloud, love Girls Aloud. Um, Cheryl Cole's not my favorite in the world. I must admit, I'm more of a Nicola fan just because I think she's cool. Um, Deadlines and Diets, really good song. 43, um, TLC, love, love TLC, no scrubs. I remember when this was out and there was a boy band and they did No Pigeons and I had both of them, like on a, it was like a Now 36 something CD and it was like, it played No Scrubs, then it played No Pigeons and it was like, oh, this is so cool. And then I was in this club embarking which is like London and they did the same thing in there and they like did that thing where they mixed the two in and it was just like because it's exactly the same tune um and it was like I thought it was cool okay 42 Alanis Morissette hand in my pocket love Morris Alanis Morissette is she Canadian I think she's Canadian um I got bought her album I think I was 15 Jagged Little Pill um adore her musically just think she's awesome you know made me pick up the guitar for the first time um number 41 janet jackson got till it's gone i'm not a jackson fan again i'm not gonna go any further into that because a lot of people love them there's a couple of tracks i like by michael and and, and janet but not the biggest jackson fan but i love got till it's gone Number 40, this is quite new, <laughs> um, DNA by Little Mix, they won X Factor, the UK version, um, not this year, last year, or not last year, the year before, I think I mean. Okay, number 39, Newton Faulkner, if you don't know who Newton Faulkner is, well, with any of these tracks, if you don't know who they are, please, like, see the link below, you might love them, but Newton Faulkner is... Um, a guitar playing 
dreadlock white ginger man and I love him and I think we've seen him ridiculous like a ridiculous amount of time in fact if you go if you're interested and you like the video um, I've actually got a vlog on a day where we go and see him um, but yeah I think me and John we've seen him 12 15 times I love him anyway the track on here is full fat which is a album track it wasn't released as a single but it's it's on here as number 39 and it is my favorite Newton Faulkner song number 38 Blasphemous Pass um Jim McQuay Jim McQuay JK with the big hats remember him showing your age if you do um virtual insanity that's an awesome video that's when they've got the um the moving floor and he's like dancing okay 37 Michael Jackson um but arguably his best song ever Man in the Mirror love that 36 Fat Boy Slim praise you <laughs> I'm not gonna sing I'm not gonna sing in this video but <sighs> I love praise you by Fat Boy Slim um number 35 I'm newly in love with the Saturdays. I know the Saturdays have been big in the UK for ages and they've like kind of made a little bit of a hit over in America, but I've only very recently fallen in love with them. Um, and that's purely because I was reading some ladies, you know, poppy chatty magazine um, and it had this article by Rochelle who is so beautiful. And then they did, they had a reality show on the E! channel and I watched that and I'm like, and they always played their music and I'm like, oh yeah. So I've kind of newly found them and newly fell in love with them and my favourite Saturdays track is Denial. And 34 is um, James, who I love, um, Destiny's Calling. Again, song is in my head and I'm fighting the urge to sing. Um... 33, Simply Red, Fairground. Not a Mick Hucknall fan, even though I've just, you know, I like Newton Faulkner, who's also white, ginger, and a little bit dready. But not the biggest Mick Hucknall fan, but I love his voice. I love his stuff from the 90s. I love the grain and the grrr, and the working man on the doll sound in his voice. But yeah, Fairground. Um, yeah, that's number 33. Number 32, Jordan Sparks with Chris Brown, No Air. Love that song. 31, Kiss the Rain by Billy Myers. Now, I'm not, I don't know if a lot of people know that song. Um, I must admit, we had people over the other week and we were listening to um, Absolute 90s, which is a, a radio station over here that only plays tracks from the 90s. And that came on and none of my friends knew it, but I knew every word and I say it's the 31st most played song on my phone and I've got like a thousand songs on here. Um, number 30 is possibly, or no, definitely the best Oasis track ever is, that ever was, which is Married With Children. Um, I love it. It is my favourite, favourite, favourite Oasis track, closely followed by I'm going to say Wonderwall, but I shouldn't say Wonderwall, but I do love it. Um, but no, Married With Children by Oasis. If I was in The X Factor, and you know the weeks where two people uh, have got to like, fight for their survival type thing, and they have to sing a song of their choice, this is the song I would sing. And when I find the link below, go and watch it, and listen to the words, and then you'll agree with me that I think it's an excellent sing for survival song especially when it tells you that your music shine you keep me up all night up all night not singing not singing um, number 29 is ollie Mer's heart skips a beat and that's got rizzle kicks in it i think um 28 rick astley it probably must be the oldest song on here rick astley never gonna give you up never gonna give you up never gonna let you down Oh, number this year's X Factor winner, um, number 27 is Impossible by James Arthur. He he was hot on the X Factor, but what's been released with him recently, oh my goodness, he is an attractive human being. 
Um, 26, uh, this might not be that well known, Hugh Laurie, who I adore from um, Monty Python, no, not Monty Python, Ew. Over the Top, um, Blackadder, and Peter's Friends, oh, but most people know him, or definitely Americans would know him from House, um, he's amazing, a great singer. My favourite song of his is number 26 on my list, and that's the protest song. It's awesome. It's like a funny song. It's good. Um, number 25, Aretha Franklin, I Say a Little Prayer. Best Aretha Franklin song ever. I know everybody loves respect, but Say a Little Prayer is where I'm at. And number 24, Daniel Bedingfield, Gotta Get Through This. And 23, Spice Girls, there had to be Spice Girls in here at some point, Holler. <laughs> Again, not the most obvious Spice Girls choice, but it's my favourite. And then we've got 22, Cleopatra, Cleopatra coming at you. Um, I want you back. Again, I think it's like 98, so I was still in school, so some of you guys weren't even knew what music was, but yeah, Cleopatra. Um, number 21, Nicki Minaj featuring Rihanna, Fly, love it. 20, oh, The Calling, Wherever You Will Go, oh. Um, number 19, City High, What Would You Do? Number 18, Kanye West, Family Business, I love him. Um, <laughs> Number 17, Steps, The Way You Make Me Feel. 16, Green Day, Good Riddance, Time of Your Life. Everybody loves that song. 15, again, Kanye West. I think he's the only person who gets repeated in this, uh, in this list. Um, I don't know what this song's called, because it's... See Me Now. You know, it's got Beyonce on and everything. And then number 14, Beyonce, If I Was a Boy. Number 13, Marith Brooks, I'm a Bitch. Loved that when I was a teenager. Um, number 12, Artful Dodger, Woman Trouble. The number 11, The Wanna Dies, You and Me Song. Oh, that is on the theme track of Romeo and Juliet, Romeo and Juliet. Um, Leonardo Di DiCaprio and Claire Danes. Most people think of it as a love song. This is actually mine and my best friend Tamsin's, like, this is our theme tune. Um, even though it's like a love songy type thing, it isn't. It's me and my best girl. Um, number 10, it just says track 10. Okay, that's E17. E17 Steam. Um, was majorly in love with Tony Mortimer when I was younger. Number nine, Joan Osborne, What If God Was One Of Us. Number eight, Semisonic, Secret Smile. Number seven, Carrie Underwood, Before He Cheats. Love that song. Do find myself, I'm listening to it, doing a lot of head banging or head wobbling. Um, number six is Baby, I think it's called Baby When You've Gone. It's Brian Adams and Melanie C. Um, very 99, 2000, I think that was. Um, top five time. Number five, Dixie Chicks, Not Ready to Make Nice. Number four, Kelly Clarkson, Stronger. Number three, um, Jenny from the Block, Jennifer Lopez. You can see I get cheesier as it goes. Um, my second most played song, which is normally one that people don't know and don't and kind of like what, um, is Victoria Beckham, a mind of her, a mind of its own. Love it. And the most played song on my phone is extremely old, and it's by Go West, and it's King of Wishful Thinking, and I love it, and it makes me feel good and happy, and I imagine. That more of you have heard this song than you think basically because it's in the theme tune of Pretty Woman which I think pretty much every female has seen at some point in her life 
and it's on there and I love it. Okay, so this is a really long video and I apologise, um, but it was requested by my friend on Keek, so I had to do it. Um, I hope it is showing you a little bit about me and how I still, I'm in the 90s and I'm a bit eclectic. Um, I'm really interested to know what other people's favourite songs are. You know, if you want to do a video or if you just want to let me know in the comments what you don't have to do your top 50 if you want to just do your top five played songs, either on your phone or your iTunes or your, um, you know, whatever way you listen to your music. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you enjoy the links I'm going to put below. Take care. Bye bye.